Hello, everybody, and welcome to your linear algebra review on the inverse of a product of matrices. My name is Jason, and I work for the ASU Tutoring Centers. If you haven't seen the previous videos on um, inverses of matrices, please go check those out. Uh, we went over basically how to make um, or how to find the inverse of any square matrix if such an inverse exists. Um, what we'll be doing here is looking at a very special property of inverses. So if you had the product of two matrices, you're multiplying two matrices together and you want to find the inverse of that, well, what you can do instead is find the inverse of each matrix and multiply them together, but do it kind of backwards. So we'd find the inverse of A, the inverse of B, and we multiply that together, but we wouldn't do A inverse times B inverse, we'd have to switch the order around. We would do B inverse times A inverse. If you watch the video about transposes, it's a lot, it's very similar to the idea of transposes, right? If you're trying to do A times B transpose, that's the same thing as B transpose, A transpose. So you take the transpose of each individually, but you have to flip the order around. Uh, same concept up here. So what we'll be doing in this, um, in this video is verifying that this property holds. We won't be showing it holds for every single matrix, um, but we'll be showing that it holds at least in this particular case for these two matrices. Sort of just like a making sure that, that uh, this formula makes sense, right? Let's, let's see it in action. Let's verify that it actually works. So how we'll do that is we'll calculate the left-hand side and we'll go ahead and calculate the right-hand side. Okay, so let's do the left-hand side first. So first I need to find A times B. And once I get that, I'll need to find its inverse. So let's do A times B really quick, A times B. So that's two, negative four, eight, seven, times one half, one, negative one, two. And I won't uh, spend too much time on calculating the actual product because we've done that in previous videos, but it ends up being five, negative six, negative three, 22. That's A times B. Now let's find its inverse. So remember how to find the inverse? What do you do? You take your matrix five, negative six, negative three, 22, you augment with your identity, and then you reduce row echelon form that. And on the left-hand side, if your matrix is invertible, you should get the identity, which we do get in this case. And on the right-hand side, we end up getting 11 over 46, three over 46, uh, three over 92, and five over 92. So our left-hand side here, A times B inverse, ends up being 11 over 46, three over 46, uh, three over 92, and five over 92. Now this is, uh, keep in mind, this is not the only way to find the inverse. Um, there is a formula that involves taking the determinant, but we'll be discussing determinants in later videos. So I'm not gonna talk about that formula. But if you know that formula, go ahead and use it. You know, why not? Cool, so we found the left-hand side. Now we need to go ahead and find the right-hand side. So let me go ahead and erase this work so we have more room. So what do we have to do on the right-hand side? We need to find the inverses of each individual matrix first. So we need to find B inverse and we need to find A inverse and then multiply them together. Now again, we, we've spent a couple videos um, showing how to find inverses. So I'm not gonna belabor that point too much. Um, I'll just tell you what the inverses are. So A inverse ends up being seven over 46, um, two over 23, um, negative four over 23, and one over 23. So that's A inverse. And then B inverse ends up equaling for us um, one, negative one half, one half, and one fourth. So then what's our last step? We're going to multiply them together. And remember the order we do it in is flipped. So instead of doing A inverse times B inverse, we now do B inverse times A inverse, okay? So B inverse times A inverse, which equals seven over 46. Oh my gosh, let me write this a little bit neater. Goodness gracious. Cool. Seven over 40. Oh, see, I'm writing them backwards. That, that's the issue. We do B inverse first, right? I even, I even told myself, I still messed it up. There we go. 
And then we do A inverse. Negative 4 over 23 and 1 over 23. Um, so again, I'm not going to do the multiplication out um, just for, for sake of time and for the fact that we've already done this a, a bunch of times in previous videos. But what you end up getting is 11 over 46, 3 over 46, 3 over 92, and 5 over 92. You can go ahead and verify that for yourself. Uh, do it at home. Um, but yeah, so you see this guy and this guy are the same. So at least in the case of these two matrices, we have in fact verified that this formula is true. So as long as A and B are themselves invertible matrices, then this uh, equality holds. So again, all we did was show it for one particular case, but you just sort of have to trust the, uh, the, the, the mathematics professionals when they say that in fact it works for all, um, all invertible matrices. Cool. All right, so uh, thank you for watching. As I mentioned in, uh, at the beginning of this video, I work for the ASU tutoring centers. So if you want more information about uh, the free services that we have to offer on all four major ASU campuses and online, go ahead and check out tutoring.asu.edu. Uh, if you want to find more videos like this that go over specific concepts from your course, or maybe you want to um, see what upcoming review sessions we have for, for the exams in your course, go ahead and check out that link down below. Wonderful. Um, thank you again and have a fantastic day.